probably just sitting here watching TV one day and uh, this uh, noise at the window, pecking sound, and I turned to look and there's this bird trying to get through the window. Bob Barnum's cardinal was welcome enough in the beginning, but that was months ago. Probably a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, I think. And he's still at it? Still at it. Hasn't given up. Some days a little more active than others, but uh, he's persistent. So what do you do when a cardinal comes to call and stays, and more than that, attacks? This is what's caused the cardinal's charm to wear thin. From sun up to sun down, practically any window in Barnum's north side Columbus home is a potential target. He seems to show up uh, every morning about the first light around 7, 7.30 in the morning and uh, off and on throughout the day and seems to give up around 4 o'clock and go home. It's, it's a little aggravating after a while because you think somebody's at the door, you think somebody's at the window, you just don't know what's going on. Ohio wildlife officials say it's likely the bird is attacking its own reflection, trying to chase away what the cardinal sees as an intruder. As far as anyone can tell, neither house nor bird has been damaged so far, but Barnum's had enough. He wants the cardinal gone. We've tried startling it, you know, when it's at the window, especially above the front door, the window above there. We uh, try to s sneak up on scaring him to see if that would discourage him from coming back. But didn't seem to work. We've tried the blinds up and down and lights and just, he's persistent. To get rid of a cardinal, think like a cardinal. One suggestion was to uh, put some rubber snakes on the window sills to try and scare them off. Another was to put uh, pictures of owls in the windows, thinking that he might be afraid of an owl. In the end, Bob Barnum's best hope may be spring, when it's likely his cardinal will discover more compelling interests than attacking some human's house.